Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, it's an honor to share a few thoughts with you of this uh, really cool production from the Earthwise project. This is always the most exciting phase of a project for me, is watching the, the concept crystallize in, into, into something real. So it's a pre-alpha now, the, the Elowin game, so it gives you some sense of, uh, of what direction the development is going in and what, what the game is, is going to be. Also, the, the winter solstice, that, that's actually the, the birthday of my oldest son, Zarathustra, as well as, as, well as the birthday of, uh, of Frank Zappa, as it happens. So it's altogether all, all, all all a fantastic day. Yeah, so let me encourage everyone to, you know, play around with the pre-alpha version of, of Elowin Quest of Time. The human species is at a really unique point in its development right now and if, if you followed my work or thinking at all you know I'm, I'm fairly confident we're pretty close to what Ray Kurzweil called a singularity a, a point in time at which humans are no longer the most generally intelligent creatures around I think we're gonna make the breakthrough from these really spiffed up neuro AIs we have today to artificial general intelligences that can generalize far beyond their training data and that these general intelligences will then improve themselves and upgrade themselves into super intelligences. I think this is going to happen pretty fast over the coming years, but it hasn't happened yet. And this means that we still have quite a lot of agency in guiding what direction this, this development takes. And, you know, that, that brings us back a bit to, to Earthwise and, and the uh, Elowin game, because much of the motivation behind this game and behind Earthwise altogether is, well, hold on, do we really want, you know, super AI to be ruled by a few big companies that are pursuing commercial goals, working closely together with, uh, you know, large nationalistic military and intelligence agencies, or, or do we want somehow more of the broad-based collective wisdom and insight of the the human species and connected with all the other species in the biosphere. Obviously, Anna Lois, the, the founder of Earthwise, and I share the sense that, you know, it might be better if more of the broad-based wisdom of sentience, intelligence, and life on Earth was, was brought to bear in you know, guiding the crystallization of, of AGI and, and ASI on, on, on the planet. One thing that many people ask me when they find out about all these things that I'm working on with my colleagues a aimed at sort of directing the technological singularity in a more beneficial, democratic, decentralized way. One thing many people ask me is, well, okay, but I'm not a programmer. I'm not a financier. Like, what, what can I actually do about this. Just spreading the word about these things is is a worthwhile thing people people can do. I mean, I, I've uh, I've written a book with uh, Gabriel Axel Montes, the, the, the Consciousness Explosion, and one of the chapters toward the end of the book is is about preparing for the for the singularity, right? Like, what, what can we do to prepare our own consciousness? What can we do societally to, to prepare better? So there's there's a long list of ways that that people can can engage but a lot a lot of them come down to working together with other people just to build better understanding and, and better consciousness about 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 how to how to deal with concrete issues that that will emerge as smarter and smarter machines roll out and this this i think is where a game like uh, element quest of time can be really quite quite interesting so if you can create a game world where the game play highlights key issues that face us as, as, as we move toward a technological singularity and where it's not just an individual you know, facing NPCs in the game world, but where the game play involves people collaborating and coming together to build an understanding of how to confront these beneficial singularity-related issues. I mean, then the game can both help us kind of 
guide our minds into the right mindset for dealing with the, the very real issues that we confront now and we will confront more and more as we move towards singularity. And the game can also serve as a way for us to figure out how to interact with each other. This may seem like a heavy weight to place on a game, like it's the whole future of the, of the, of the human species and sentient life. The idea is that this thinking is sort of baked into the game and playing the game should just be a, 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 a fun thing to do. Playing in these sorts of game environments, people can direct their their minds into a a, a position where, where, where they can better help, you know, better confront the the real issues that, that that are popping up, which is sort of conceptually closely resembling the issues that are, are highlighted in the game in, in a more like crystallized and, and archetypal way. So. It's a really, really important, fascinating project. It's at an early stage, and I would encourage everyone to get in there, mess around with, with, with the pre-alpha, and then you know, think about what you can do to help uh, come together to drive the project forward. Cool.